Today we find out if $80 for Chun-Li is better than $25 for Chun-Li. Let's take a look at SH Figure Arts Street Fighter Chun-Li Outfit 2 versus this Jada Toys one. There are some good and bad things about both. So let's find out which one is really worth your money. Does $80 make it that much better? I don't know, probably not. I've reviewed the Chun-Li from Jada Toys already on this channel, but today this is gonna be primarily about this one from SH Figure Arts, and then we will do the breakdown comparison between, between the two and see which one's good. Well, looking at the front of the box, you got a figure shot. She's very sparkly, which could be a downside for some folks. Back of the box, you got some figure shots, you got some stuff, and you got a fight mode showing Ryu, Ryu, Ju. We'll just say all three versions. <laughs> anyway, there's stuff here and the sides of the top, who cares? So what's already very unique about this one, not only between the two brands, but for SH Figure Arts is that there's a backdrop in the box rather than just a sleeve that goes in here. All right, we got everything out of the box and it is important to know that this isn't labeled as Street Fighter Six in the box, but online it does say that this is specifically Outfit 2 from Street Fighter Six. So that's gonna be kind of why we get this uh, like rendered background rather than that traditional Super Nintendo look because it's just it is a different setup maybe for shelf displays if you get a nice little tight little setup if you get a nice tight little setup <laughs> then you can put it in there well that's just getting weird to so get a stand for this kick effect but let's check out the instructions sheet so as you can see you get alternate faces it tells you in classic SH figure arts Fake it, figure uh, fashion, how all this stuff works. And then on the back, it tells you a little bit more. And the instructions tell you that this comes apart, but I, I don't I don't really know why you would take it. I guess you just want to change the size of it or something. But it also tells you specifically, I guess, that it's made for the left leg, not the right. The famous move, Kyakuretsu Kyaku. Duh. All right, on to the main event, ladies and gentlemen. We've got a stand piece for the Kiki Effecty, which I just said the name of it. There's the effect on the stand looking pretty nice. Now, in the box, you get alternate faces. Now, the Jada Toys, we'll talk about that just as an extra head. Very anime look, which makes sense. I mean, it's based off of the sixth iteration of Street Fighter. Here's the other face in the box, and the detail work here is pretty good. I mean, the colors, the eyes. I mean, they get the, all the detail around the, the, the makeup, the color. What, what am I trying to, I'm just repeating myself. The details, the colors in the eyes. <laughs> and then you get this one because uh, she won. Good job. But there's no peace fingers in this packaging. Maybe it's just Street Fighter Six thing. But if you're going to have this, like she just won, but then the, you don't have the peace hands. Anyway, you get a left and right of this, which is just a good classic fighting stance hand for her. And you get this one, which is a different kind of hand for something. <laughs> and this one, which is uh, just a, a good old fashioned slap him in the face hand. Now, what's interesting is that she doesn't have her, what is it, Kyoken or whatever, where she does her blast effect. <laughs> Why? How come this doesn't have that? where you shoot a little a little ball out like that. Anyway, onto the figure itself. So we've got this head on there by default, just a pretty stern, serious face because she's ready to fight, okay? But the details are nice. The color's good. The paintwork is good. I just, I mean, personally, I think I would want a flat blue, not this kind of metallic look. But again, it's got all that classic look that you expect out of a Chun-Li figure, looking pretty awesome. And then these hair pieces, the, the things that are holding on her little buns, they articulate, but now you can get some cool motion effects. She's got articulation for days. And uh, this is kind of an older design for SH Fiora, so use these wheel style elbow joints. So I'm, I'm bummed to see that, but I do think this is technically a re-release, at least of the body. But articulation, let's check it out because I think she's gonna be doing pretty, pretty good for such a small figure. The head has some range, but thanks to the neck articulation, you're gonna be able to get some really good range out of that. And then the shoulders are technically on butterfly joints, so I think you can push these things a little bit further than you expect, but there is some hesitation because of the puffiness of that sleeve. And then the next spot is the rotation right underneath the sleeve. 
the elbows, which do excellent. I mean, that it's that kind of an eyesore seeing that bump in the elbow, but the range is always really nice out of those. And then from there, you get standard wrist articulation on a little ball joint, so you can get basically whatever shape you want, and then the her little spikes move. From there, you got some great torso. You got some waist articulation, which is <laughs> basically uh, classic SH figure arts. I mean, you're gonna get the articulation that really, to me, is is the shining star from anything from the brand. Almost, almost always the case, sometimes not. So there you go. Wow, this is fantastic. Knee is the same kind of like circular design, but again, great for articulation. There's no rotation down the leg, but then you get the ball joint on the ankle, which is also really good. And toe articulation, which I'm a huge fan of, especially for posing. Another thing I love about the brand is they usually get a lot of faces in there because they're not doing a full head sculpt. So I think they can afford to give you more options by just making it half the amount of plastic. Now, the whole point of this video really is to compare what you get from SH Figure Arts for $80 versus what you get from Jada Toys for just $25. Talking about accessories, you get this base that is actually poseable on its own where the SH Figure Arts is not. However, the thing is these don't have any screws in them so they do get a little loose and wobbly over time. So if anybody from Jada Toys is paying attention, please add screws or something to these because I got a couple over here that just won't stand on their own anymore. But it's simple, it works. I've had luck with doing left or right legs where this one's specifically instructions say left leg. All right, so our best way of probably comparing these two is to look at what is in there that matches and then what else you get additionally. So by default, you get angry faces, you get a stern face, you get the extra flat hands, and then you get a kick effect. And then over here, you're getting two extra face plates and two extra sets of hands. So you do certainly get more, but $25 and $80. I don't think there's a price difference over here that justifies that. However, we know there's more going on here than just that. The paint applications, the details are certainly different, but let's try to compare the facial expressions. So as you can see, Jaded Toys goes straight with an alternate head and rather than doing face plates, again, I am a huge fan of face plates. You can see there's a huge difference in the color, the, the skin tone, but that's also, we're still looking at two different games. And the other thing with Jada Toys is that these uh, hair pieces are just rubber in there, so you cannot articulate them. So, you know, but it's 25 bucks. So you can't be mad about that. Now for $25, you also get a great range, honestly, on this character. So you get the head, the neck, you get the arms that do surprisingly well, considering that there's so much going on there. There's no butterfly joints or anything like you get over here with SH Figure Arts, but still, even this articulation's great, the legs are great, and then because she has these thigh swivels, she still has really good range going all the way down. And then double jointed knees. This is just, it's a blue plastic with yellow paint. So there's less paint on this thing, but it works really well, especially pulling from an old video game with only 16 bits. And, and it was double jointed elbows. So they do, the arms also just look mostly better. I don't know, that's a huge gap right there. Anyway, so this is still fantastic. 25 bucks, you get this thing and now, they do have, uh, or they have teased a player two version of this Chun-Li, which she comes in a different color and comes with an alternate head where she wins at the end and then comes with the peace hands. So at that point, you're looking at, you get two Chun-Li's for 50 bucks and then it's still cheaper than one SH figure arts. This isn't a premium figure price-wise. It's not listed as that. This is a very achievable, affordable figure. It's kind of better in a lot of different ways, but as you can see, there's a lot of design differences between the two of them because we're coming from two different versions of Street Fighter. And if you like anime stuff and you're trying to blend your figures in with anime, maybe you got some other SH Figure Arts things, this is probably going to fall in line a lot nicer than the Jada Toys one. So while there are some really great things about this SH Figure Arts figure, and as a fan of the brand, I it, it makes it kind of sad that I have to say that the Jada Toys is the better option. So if you have the difference of 25 and $80, then yes, get the Jada Toys Chun-Li. 
and you can order her online, so you don't have to worry about the kind of the hassle of trying to find her in a Target, even though she should be a little bit easier to find these days as it's been some time, but maybe not. You tell me down in the comments. And if you started this video knowing this channel and you said, hey, he's definitely gonna pick a SH Figure Arts, did you, did you say that? Did you think that? Or did you know that I would switch it up and say, because I'm not crazy. 25 bucks, do it all day. And then you could also buy the second player version to get all the other accessories and kind of match what you're getting here for less. It's crazy. Jada Toys is killing it. They're doing a lot of stuff. I highly recommend you check out that brand, follow them, see what they're doing. They're not just die cast cars anymore. Save your money, get a Jada Toys. Why did I buy this? I don't know. And if you enjoyed this and you want to see a deeper detailed review of Chun-Li, from Jada Toys, then click the top link there. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you next time.